And Mr Speaker, Labour's commitment to NATO is unshakable. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's an achievement of this party, a cornerstone of British security for 74 years. Therefore, I welcome the progress made in Vilnius this week, in particular commitment to strengthen the collective defence of this continent, regional plans, greater intelligence cooperation, improve readiness. This will put us all on a better footing to react quickly to modern threats. And at moments like this, this House tends to acknowledge this unity, understand that our words carry weight beyond these shores. We choose them wisely. So I would ask the Prime Minister, when he rises, whether he's prepared to correct the record in this House in relation to a social media statement he made last night that Labour didn't want him to attend the summit this week. Well, Mr Speaker, I thank the Right Honourable Gentleman, although I would say it's a, it's a bit rich to attack me for missing Prime Minister's question time and then say that you don't want me to attend the NATO summit. Because you can't, you sim sim simply can't. Oh. I, oh. Please, I want to hear the Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, the reality is this. For long years, the Honourable Gentleman did sit there next to someone who didn't support NATO, who wanted to scrap Trident and abolish our armed forces. So